came after the three gospels it was supposed to be copied from the from the gospel of mark adding to this that the vague the vagueness about the authors basically they say gospel of john no one knows who's john as john as they say the disciple if he was the disciple he should be from the earliest one so his gospel must be the first one adding to this that the people when you be, when you see when we read in the beginning of the gospel say this gospel is according to john with normal English language, we know according to that means John is not the one who's writing it. So someone is writing it on behalf of John, which means this ambiguous, vague character who wrote it, we don't know who's he. You understand? And then they will add these things to say begotten son, which is mentioned in the Gospel of John, before Abraham I am. All of these things that gives us, you know, that gives us that, you know, gives the divinity of Jesus. Adding to this, that the first, the first compiled Bible, basically, it was 300 and something compiled together, the three, the gospel together, which means it takes, it took the Christian to compile the book 300 years after Jesus. Within these 300 years, there used to be the Nazarites who used to be monotheist Christians, who didn't believe Jesus is God, who were chased by Constantine because they refused the Trinity, and he chased them and, and killed them. The Nazareth, and you can find about them and discover about them. Yeah, they were monotheist Christian, and they were chased by Constantine. Yeah, they and tried to kill them because they didn't accept the Trinity in the Council of Nicaea. Some of them they were binarian, like Paul himself wasn't Trinitarian in the concept of Trinitarian. So they were talking about the Father, the Son. So here and all of these problems that means there is a big thing here. But we are telling you and we're saying to you. How we know if it's the truth, we have to know to listen to the word of God. And the final revelation from God is the Quran. Affirms who is Jesus, affirms that he is a prophet sent by God, affirms himself that he will believe in his miraculous birth with no father, God has created him. Yeah? Affirms that the human nature of Jesus, that he is just a human being, just like Adam, God has said in the Quran, the example of Jesus, like the example of Adam, God has said to them, be and they became so God directly so all these things yeah yeah all these things will yeah yeah all these things tells us about the, the nature of Jesus and as well when Jesus was saying sincerely asking God the night before of crucifixion you know was saying take you know take this cup away from me he was sincerely asking God to take the cup away the cup away from him which means think about it if God has created Jesus, yeah, for one single purpose, which is to be crucified. Why is he beginning to take the cup away from him? And if he is God, it was actually. So God knows that he will be crucified on the cross, and he is asking the Godfather to take this cup away from him. That makes the thing worse, even. So that's why we believe that Jesus big God actually to save him from the from the evil people, and God has saved him. That's how it is. So simple and so straightforward. Does that make sense to you? Yeah? Okay. Now, I know you are waiting for this, but I'm, I'm now, before we talking to him, I need to finish with you now here. Yeah? Do you accept what, what we discussed earlier? No. What you didn't accept? What the specific thing that you did not accept? Who? Oh, God. God to suffer and die. God to suffer and die as a human, where the suffering of the flesh doesn't matter. Okay, then in that case, in that case, please go in peace. In that case, in that case, my friend, my friend, my friend. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Allah is even that you know uh, yeah go, 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 go speak with it. I know he tried to jump he he loves you know some people they love to to jump into conversation you know yeah so my point is you know to say suffer what's the point to suffer 
when God do something, we'll do something with wisdom. Am I right? When God is doing something, we'll do something according to his wisdom. Yes? What is the wisdom of God to suffer on the cross? What is the purpose? All of the all of the suffering of, of humanity is of the is of the, is of the flesh. Who said that? That's Jesus. Jesus said that. Where? What chapter? There is nothing. No, there is nothing like this. Jesus never said this. Now going back. Where is what is the purpose of suffering? God to suffer on the cross. What is the purpose? With God doing something, we'll do something according to his wisdom and knowledge, yes? What is the wisdom behind it? So that's why if there's something that has lack of wisdom, that means it doesn't befit his majesty, yes? For example, God cannot become a rat. Am I right? No, no, you can choose if you want. Like no, we say God. For example, there are certain things that doesn't befit majesty of God. Like, for example, God ceasing to exist. Can God do this? Can God cease to exist? I see, I see. So these things are opposite to the nature of God. You understand? So God to do God will do things that befits His Majesty and glory. Things which is doesn't befit His Majesty and glory. Those are negated things on God, which means not even out of the picture to be discussed. So God becoming weak. When we say God is all powerful, that means never become weak. You understand? When we say God is all knowing, never become ignorant. You see, do you understand where I'm coming from? So that's why when you say God to be crucified. That means become weak, become ignorant. Listen, I, I, need to, I actually need to go. Well, before you thank, go. Thank you very much. Thank before you, you go. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll read more. I'll read more. I'll, I'll take more with people. And then, and then maybe. But My question is to you. Do you understand where I'm coming from? I understand what you're saying. So, does that make sense to you? That Jesus, we said to you, discussed earlier, that Jesus is a prophet of God. And you said it makes sense. Am I right? So why we discuss this again? Well, it makes sense to you that Jesus, Jesus is a prophet of God. It makes sense to you. I'll come back. No problem to come back. But my point is, what we said, anyway, anyway, have a good day. Here. My name is Sheikh Muhammad. Yeah? All right. And here, another, another book. But just only for the three first centuries. Eh? Okay. And what about the one thousand? And what about the ten centuries after? That's true. The first three centuries that was uh, more culture than the rest of you. But uh, that one thousand years after that, 